Okay, let's put the screw at the center of the, of the space between the roots of 5 and 6 in upper left segment. When do you do papillary infiltration injection, the tissue around the injection point turns white. Then you can clearly see where the mucogingival junction is. That is the border between attached and free gingiva. So this is attached gingiva. In typodontal, let's suppose there is a thin line as mucogingival junction. Once you identify the mucogingival junction, you can put the screw at different location. At the papillary area, at the apical area, just below the junction. But the best place to put a mini screw is close to the junction in attached gingiva. Actually, in clinic, with a dental pull, mark here by pressing the tissue gently. Then the tissue was compressed. And we can see the thin line between the roots. As an insertion point, I'm going to choose a dot where on the line marked and an attached gingiva and close to the border. Once the insertion point is determined, pick up the 1.6 mm in diameter, 6 or 8 mm long screw according to the thickness of the soft tissue. At this time, I pick 8 mm long one, place the tip of screw at the insertion point, and set the path of insertion medial distally, not heading to neither mesially or distally, just aim the center between the roots and occlusal gingivally, not heading to neither gingivally or occlusally. At the beginning, set the occlusal gingival pass almost 90 degree to the bone surface. By doing so, we can prevent the screw from slipping at the start of insertion. But this is this is not the final occlusal gingival pass. After setting up the initial insertion pass, use your palm grip rather than pencil grip. With palm grip like this, while maintaining the pass constantly, press against to the bone gently, and then start to turn the handle clockwise to insert the screw 1 or 2 mm. After inserting 1 or 2 mm, stop the insertion and turn the shaft in the opposite direction to retract or pull back about half. But then change the occlusal gingival pass about 20 to 30 degrees apically. After checking the final pass again, Restart to turn clockwise to finish the insertion. Until the cervical collar of the screw lightly touch the gingival soft tissue surface. Caution! Do not change the path while inserting the screw. It can cause the breakage of the screw, especially the tip. Let's do it again in a model that we cannot see the root like in our real patient. Step 1. Identify the mucogingival junction. The attached gingival turns white on the papillary injection. Do not anesthetize the whole tooth. Anesthetize only around the insertion point. You can see the tissue turn white under the injection. And the junction can be identified easily. Step 2. With a probe, mark a vertical line between the root. Do not use a pencil. Press the probe to mark in a real patient. Step 3. Determine the point of entry. You can put the screw anywhere along the line, but in the attached gingiva as much as possible. Gingival margin area, the space is narrow. 
and the bone is very thin. Apically, there is more wide space, thick cortical bone, but mucosa is very movable. It is not good for stability of the screw. So the first choice of entry point will be close to the junction in attached gingiva. Step 4. Set the initial path of insertion. Medial distally aim the center between the root, not heading to neither distally or mesially. Occlusal gingivally perpendicular to the bone surface. Why? To prevent from slipping of the screw at initial penetration. Step 5. Start turning the shot to insert the screw 1 or 2 millimeters. Step 6. Stop insertion and reverse turn to pull back half to prevent fracture of the screw or tip of the screw when changing the insertion path. Step 7. Set the in final insertion path. Change the occlusal gingival path apically 20 to 30 degrees. The reason why change the path to increase contact surface between the screw and the cortical bone to placing the screw more wider space around root apex. Step 8. Finish the insertion. While maintaining the final insertion pass, keep turning clockwise until the color of the screw lightly touch the soft tissue surface. Do the final adjustment as needed. Notice the screw was angulated slightly toward the apex. Finally, the screw successfully has been placed.